Orphée et Eurydice is an opera very famous, which is often misunderstood. The story is simple, but also quite complex. An artist, or Orphée, recently married to Eurydice. She suddenly dies, and his grief is so huge that he defies the gods and asks them to allow him to go to the underworld to bring her back. He has one condition to fulfill. He can do so, but he mustn't turn around and look at her. And this uh, story is complicated because Orphée does go to the underworld. He finds Eurydice, but he turns around. And so she dies a second time. And in the opera of Gluck, Love, who is the third character in the opera, is the one who forgives for Orphée at the end and revives Eurydice and the opera has a happy ending. But in fact, Gluck has written a very complicated piece because the, the three characters that are in the opera, Orphée, Eurydice and Love, are complex people. And so this production follows this trio of figures who are on stage the whole time and tells the story of an artist who is torn between fidelity to his wife and his fantasy of being loved by many other people who also love him. And how do you survive between all these different forms of love? I think this is what the production is trying to tell. It's trying to show that these characters are on a journey of self-discovery. They go into the underworld, which is their own inner world, and they come out of this with a different idea of love and a different idea of freedom. So the happy ending at the end is happy, but it's happy not necessarily because Orphée and Eurydice have found each other, but because they have found freedom from each other and inside each other. And that's a very interesting story to tell. And I think that in the text of Gluck, in French and in the music, there is a lot of indication that Gluck didn't write a simplistic opera, black and white story. He wrote something much more closer to what human beings are really like. And I think it's also a very modern opera. It's a very interesting opera for today because we are also in this time very open about the idea of love, of gender, of who is a man, who is a woman, who loves who, why, can we love different people, can we be creative and at the same time love? Is all, can all these things coexist together? And I think this is what I tried in the production also to suggest, to make it also a modern story without modernizing it by, by respecting the music and the text, but also trying to suggest that this story is also a story of today. Well, this is the first time I work in Florence. I find the new theatre very interesting. It has a wonderful acoustic, which is very important for especially this kind of music also. So it can deal with something very intimate and also something much bigger. And in this production, the chorus is treated as a Greek chorus. So it's not on stage, it's with the orchestra. And this is also very beautiful in the acoustic of this hall. I'm very happy to have had the most wonderful cast. I found this experience very interesting and the whole, we made a, a set or a visual treatment of the play which I think works well for this auditorium looking down on the action. I think this is also something which was a challenge. After five weeks of working hard on this opera, is an opera I knew but had not worked on, although this is the fifth time I direct an opera about the myth of Orphée, but this is in a way the Gluck is with the Monteverdi the most famous two operas on Orphée. I'm very enthusiastic about this treatment and very happy to invite you to come and discover this work.